babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to be doing a palette bingo, but I'm going to be using multiple palettes. I have been really into uh, palette bingos lately, um, and I've been really wanting to do one because I just feel like sometimes it gets so stuck in a rock stuck in a rut uh, doing the same kind of looks picking the same kind of colors so doing something that's totally random and I don't know what's gonna happen is kind of scary and exciting for me but anyways I wanted to say really quickly I'm sorry this is going to be a kind of a long intro but I was inspired to do this by a YouTube channel that I'm fairly new to um, her name is Betty Jean but her channel is Butte Bean, um, and she does a lot of palette bingos, and she's so creative with color, um, and she's the first person that I saw, I'm sure there's, there might be other people who have done this, but she's the first person that I kind of like realized did like multiple palette bingos, like using multiple palettes for a palette bingo. Um, so credit goes to her. Um, I will link her. Ch definitely check her out. She, I, I just really, really enjoy her channel. Um, and she does it as far as I know from the ones I've seen. She will do like a random color from each palette. She did one with uh, like Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes and she just made sure she used each palette and then chose one color from each palette randomly. But what I'm going to be doing is also randomly choosing the palettes as well as randomly choosing the number to make it even more exciting. So the palettes I'm going to be using for today's um, palette bingo is the Vault Collection from Morphe. There are four palettes here. I am going to pick five colors to go with bingo, right? B-I-N-G-O, five. <laughs> Wow. So I do have pulled up on my phone the uh, random name picker and I did put each uh, name of each four palettes in here. That's going to select the palette and then I will go to random number generator and then pick the number. It'll be one from ten because there are ten shades in each palette. So as you can see I've got each palette name in here. I'm going to push pick a random name and the first one is going to be Bling Boss and the number seven and we're just gonna go one two three four five six seven so the first color is glitz and glam the next one is going to be bling boss again okay eight so the one right next to it eight is this one right here rock star that's what that's ugh, swatches so these swatch so terribly and I hate actually putting my fingers in these because I feel like that just makes them hard pan but anyways we're gonna do another one and this one's going to be dark magic the number will be 10 number 10 is going to be temptress was a which is a black shade so right there that's what I've got and the name is going to be Armed and Gorgeous. Okay, that's exciting. A different palette. Six is going to be Top Secrets. This could be kind of a very floral print. It's a pretty color combo, so I'm, I'm really excited. So one more. Let's see. What will it be? Let's generate a number. The first shade in the palette is this one, Bling Bling. I'm going to swatch that next to the other shimmer shadow that I have here. So right now, this is my palette. Alright, so interestingly enough, uh, the randomness picked three of the palettes. The one that didn't get picked is the Ring the Alarm palette, which is the one with the more red and orange tones. So I won't be using the entire collection, but that's fine with me. And um, the colors, I feel like... I like this color combo. I may not have picked it on my own, but at the same time, I do feel like it's it's kind of a safe color combo. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that uh, shade Rockstar from the Bling Boss palette and take that into my crease. So what do you guys think about palette bingos? Do you guys really enjoy them? I've really been enjoying them so much because it's just so, it makes it just more exciting and interesting. You just never know what's gonna happen. And I really think it's an awesome way to see how somebody how somebody's creativity kind of shines through. I feel like I used to be a lot more creative than I am now. I feel like it's so, I have such a hard time being more creative and bold, and I wish I were. <laughs> I remember on my blog when I do makeup, before I started doing my YouTube, I do these like um, challenges where I do like looks inspired by Disney princesses and Disney villains and things like that. And um, I was much more uh, playful with color and unafraid. And now I feel like I'm so 
I want to say boring, but I guess kind of <laughs> compared to what I used to be. I'm just going to kind of soften it up with this big fluffy brush with no product on it. I'm just going to kind of run it over and soften up any any lines. I think I would like to do this uh, again and use this collection again for a palette bingo. I just feel like there's so many possibilities with these palettes and I was so so excited about them when they first came out and when I got them and then um, did a lot of looks with them actually not necessarily a lot on my YouTube channel I think Dark Magic is the palette that I've used the most on my YouTube channel maybe it's the only one I've really used on my YouTube channel um, but I did do a lot of looks and then shared them on my on my Instagram account but I do think they're beautiful palettes they're just a little bit hard to work with kind of you know so I didn't show them as much love as I thought I would when I first got them anyways if you guys like this uh, video and this idea and wouldn't mind let me know and I would like to do another one of these with the vault collection but also if you guys just want to see more palette bingos with other um, palettes that I have I was kind of considering doing a palette bingo with the uh, Urban Decay Born to Run palette I think that'd be a really fun one to do but anyways if you guys have any suggestions of other palettes you'd like to see me do this with if you want to see me do it again um, let me know I'd love to know but I'm gonna go ahead and go into that uh, black shade Temptress from the uh, Dark Magic palette I'm gonna take it on a very small blending brush this is the Stelazzi mini crease uh, fluff the L217 and just take that to my outer corner and kind of run it uh, gently into my crease <laughs> so speaking of other um, youtubers who have recently started uh, being subscribed to or recently discovered there's this other girl who I literally just found um, yesterday and I am already like totally in love with her channel um, her skills are just incredible, incredibly amazing. Um, her channel is uh, Bubbly Bex Beauty. And since I discovered her um, channel yesterday, I've been kind of binge watching her videos. She literally has such a bubbly personality and just seems so very upbeat and very sweet and very cute. Um, and so I just adore her and I think her name really is perfect for her since she is so bubbly and funny and just cute. Um, and I just adore her. So I'm going to link her channel. I want you guys to check her out. Tell me she's not the cutest thing you've ever seen with the most mad blending skills. I swear. I love discovering new channels, especially very much so smaller channels. Well, just new ones in general to me to watch, but, um, um, especially those who are just starting out and it's just really exciting to see them grow and you just see someone and you just look at them and you're like okay I know they're gonna be huge one day I just know it and Bex is one of them as well as Betty Jean I just I, I can already tell they're gonna be very successful and be huge one of these days so anyways I'm gonna go into the um, glitz and glam this was the first uh, shadow that I that was randomly selected from the Bling Boss palette. Um, and this is where I feel like there might be a little bit of difficulty because I know that the metallics in these palettes are a little bit difficult to work with. Um, so some of them work well, some of them are like a hit and miss. So we're gonna see how well this does. I'm gonna be using my Royal and Lane Nickel BX80 brush, which is one of the brushes I feel like works the best for glitters, pressed glitters, uh, metallic shadows, foiled shadows, and things like that. So. Also, if you know anybody who does like palette bingos and, and fun videos like this and challenges, leave your leave those suggestions below. If you are someone who does palette bingos, let me know. I want to want to see them. I've been so into those kind of videos lately. Mm. Yeah, this is. Mm. It looks so pretty when swatched with my finger, but with a brush, these just. <laughs> I hate saying that. Let me see if I can use a flat brush. Other another flat brush. Otherwise, I think I might need to spray it. The only thing is just like I don't necessarily love spraying some shadows because I feel like then you always end up with a harsh line and kind of like a cut crease look. I don't necessarily want to go for that, you know. I know everybody's super into cut creases. Well, kind of, I don't know. Are people still into cut creases like in harsh line looks? I don't know, I've just been really much more into like the softer line looks, so I don't know. All right, and now I'm gonna go into that green shade finally, the top secret shade from the Armed and Gorgeous palette. I want to bring that to my lower <laughs> lash line, and I'm gonna be taking that on a, uh, another, I have two of these little guys because I love them so, so much. Actually, I think I bought two, two more while I was at IMAT, so I have three in total, but it's just another one of those Stilazzi mini uh, blending brushes. I feel like I should have been more brave and put this green on my crease. 
or something? I don't know. What would you guys would what would you guys have done with this color combination? Because I know it's it's interesting how everybody what what each person chooses to do and how they do their makeup is so so different. Okay, that was funny. <laughs> Got interrupted because the the phone was ringing. It's not, actually not my phone. It's my husband's. Usually, I do try to have my um my the sound the volume on my phone turned off. But my husband is home today and he is weed eating all around our property. Do you have to have a hundred yard fire break or something like that? Anyways. <laughs> but uh, he, he's expecting an important phone call so I have got to keep his phone on me and answer it but <laughs> um, I didn't recognize the number so I assumed maybe it was for his call but I answered it and um, it was sounds like some kid some teenage boy probably and he's like hello and I was like hello <laughs> and he's like oh sorry ma'am wrong number <laughs> Oh my gosh, he sounded really sweet, but I'm like, ma'am, I didn't say this, but I'm just thinking, I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> but ma'am, really? I, <laughs> I do not like ma'am. I've never liked ma'am. I know like in the South, like that's um, a, uh, what do you call it? Um, like a respect thing. The kids are raised to say yes sir, yes ma'am. Um, and things like that and so I actually really like that we have some friends in Alabama went to visit them and their kids are so like the most darling <laughs> um, and just hearing them say yes sir yes ma'am to just everybody and then their parents and things like that I'm just like why did we not raise our kids to say yes sir yes ma'am I love that it's so respectful but anyways aside from that I did not like being called ma'am it just makes me feel so old <laughs> um, anyways what was I saying I think something about everybody's choices. It's interesting how different people think and look at color combinations and how, you know, they choose to do and wear their makeup. And I just think it's so neat and so fascinating. Um, how I first discovered Betty Jean's channel is because she did a collab with Annette of Annette, Annette's Makeup Corner and um, Katie Marie. Um, and they did a face-off challenge which was started, this is going to be a little rabbit trail, which was started by another YouTuber, Danielle Schmidt, who I think she's kind of taken a break for right now. Um, it's such a cool idea. I actually did a, the face off challenge with Danielle um, a while back. And I think it's such a fun, cool idea where basically you each use the same palette. There are, I think, five colors picked randomly, and you both have to create a look with those five colors and see what you come up with. And it's really interesting that, you know, even with the same colors, you don't come up with the same looks. And so anyways, they did like a three-way face-off challenge where they each used a palette and created a look, and each one of them did a different look with these same colors. So I just find that so interesting and so fascinating and just so fun to watch um, and just see because the possibilities are, are, I don't know if they're like endless, but there's just so many different ways you can create something, create an eye look with the same colors and it's fun to see how each person, you know, each person's take on on a look and colors and things like that. So I'm really interested to know um, what you guys would have done with, with these colors. You know, would you have done the same thing as me? Would you have done something totally different, more creative? I'm sure there's a lot of people who would have done something a lot more creative than me, but I do want to go ahead and bring a little bit more of that black shade close to my lower lash and kind of smudge it up and then bring it up into that, uh, the black in the outer corner here, just so it doesn't look like it's like um, this green just randomly comes out of nowhere. I would like to tie it in a little bit. By the way, if you are someone who has a YouTube channel and you like these type of videos and you would like to do one, I would really love to do a face up challenge collab with someone else too, just like they did. I do it the two way, just like I did with Danielle or the three way was such a, this is even better, like having three different people do a, a look with the same shadows. That was so cool. So if you're interested, let me know, leave a comment, let's collab. I've been so into collabs as well too because it helps me discover new channels and things like that. I just, it's so, so much fun. 
But anyways, that's about it for, for this look. Um, I do have one more shade to use, which is that first one here, but I'm going to wipe off this, uh, this powder. I, I need to do my brows. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, put on some mascara, and then we'll come back on to do the last shade and then maybe a lip or something. I don't know. <sighs> Heart, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> brows are done. For my brows today, I used the CoverGirl pencil, brow pencil, something. Um, and then the Maybelline Brow Precise Volumizer. Um, used this for my mascara today. It's the Maybelline Define the Lash. This is an old school favorite. Still love it. Um, and then I wanted to pull a little bit more green into this look. So I went ahead and put a little bit of this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Overline into my waterline. <laughs> and now it's time for the final shade, which is from the bling boss palette and it is the um shade bling bling i am going to go ahead and just put that in my inner corner not giving the most pigmentation but i guess that's fine since it's just an inner corner highlight i don't need it to be too intense i'm just going to kind of sweep it back this way so it meets into that green shade And then for lips, I'm going to keep it real simple. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I'm going to be using the uh, Urban Decay uh, Lip Pencil in the shade Rush. And just going to be topping it with a sheer lip gloss. This is the City Lips Lip Plumbing Lip Gloss in the shade Tinsel Town. All right, and that wraps it up for this look. I'll zoom in to give you guys some close-ups so you can see all the details. I'd love to know what you think about how I did in this challenge. Again, please let me know if you like these videos. If you want to see more, leave any of your suggestions for other palettes you'd like to see me do a palette bingo with. Also, please do not forget to check out uh, Betty Jean and um, Bex, the two channels that I mentioned. They are brilliant, and I think you guys will really, really love them. But anyways, with all that being said, I just want to thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes. Mwah!